What's up everybody, my name is Caitlin Blair and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Halloween haul for you. I did a little too much Halloween shopping yet again. I mean, another year, another haul, am I right? I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up this year and what I will be using in my Halloween decor video. I don't wanna waste any time, so let's just jump right into it. So first I'm gonna start with Michaels. Let me just tell you guys that Michaels had literally next to nothing. I was actually really in shock. Usually they have a lot more available. They'll start slowly putting things out in July and August, but by mid to late September, that's when they're fully stocked. And the Michaels around here, just, they had nothing. It was very, very slim pickings. I even tried shopping on the Michaels website and everything I actually wanted was out of stock. So I'm really lucky that I even got what I have right here. So I'm just gonna start with the first thing I see, which is the biggest item I did get from Michaels, which is this really cool trick-or-treat sign. I really love the font on here and I really love the splattered pattern in the back. It's just very cool but minimalist. We just painted our kitchen black so I think that this sign is gonna go really good in the kitchen, probably above the coffee bar area. Stay tuned for that. The next thing I picked up was this big mouth pumpkin dude. You guys know that I absolutely love these things and I don't think you can ever have enough of these, honestly. They're just so useful and you could just put literally anything in here. I have a really good idea for this one in particular so I'm really excited excited to use him. And he's just such a classic pumpkin and I really love the finish on him. Like he's not shiny and ceramic like a lot of the ones that you see. He has more of a rustic and matte kind of look to him. Absolutely love this guy. The next thing I picked up at Michael's was this really classic jack-o'-lantern serving tray. I was on the fence about it because I'm like, how much serveware does one person really need to have? But I just couldn't get away from it. Like I am a sucker for a very classic jack-o'-lantern look and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Everything that I got from Michael's was 40 percent off. This was originally $16.99, so I got a really good deal on him. And like, how do you, how can you resist that face, honestly? So the next thing I picked up was this charming little ghost guy coming out of the cauldron. He's gonna go really great on my tiered tray and keep all of my spooky mugs company. And I'm very excited now to decorate the coffee area. So the next couple of things I got at Michael's were two signs, one that says Happy Halloween, I picked up this other little sign that just has a skull against a matte black background and it just says spooky. These signs always really come in handy, especially ones that this small. You can put it on a tiered tray, a bookshelf, even a windowsill. These are just always great to have and both of these fit my aesthetic so well. You know, matte black with the gold, the black and white marble pattern, which I'm also a sucker, not only for classic jack lanterns, but also just a good old fashioned haunted house. So obviously this was just, made for me, I think. <laughs> the last thing I picked up at Michael's was this super elegant Happy Halloween sign. I know it's just so simple. It's just a black and gold sign that says Happy Halloween. Like, how exciting could it be? But if you know me, you'll know that I am really into art deco decor, especially for our living area. I'm just all about art deco, black and gold, great Gatsby, party like it's 1921 kind of vibes. <laughs> I have a new addition to our black and gold art deco living area situation. So I already have an idea of exactly where this is gonna go. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm going to do with it in my decorating video. A witch needs her brew. So speaking of art deco, that will lead us into everything I got from at home. The first thing I picked up from at home was this very dazzling black and gold platter. The platter just has this gorgeous gold foil inside. It's art deco to me just because it's black and gold, but it's also really modern and artsy with the brushed edges. Is this particularly Halloween? No. Is it gonna tie in all my Halloween decor? Absolutely. In my viewfinder, this honestly looks kind of like an eyeball from far away. So, I mean, it's kind of spooky, right? I just think it's super classy and I cannot wait to use this in our living room. The next thing I got from at home were these lovely glitter pumpkins from the Dark Decadence collection. We've all seen glitter pumpkins by now, but I didn't have a set of just black and gold together and I really needed some for our living area, obviously. They're just so beautiful. Just like Michael's, you guys, at home had literally nothing. I was really, really bummed because normally I would go this time of year and they would be fully stocked like every aisle, Halloween, 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 Halloween. Halloween Wonderland at at home this time of year. And this year it was a Christmas Wonderland and I was really depressed 
very disappointed. I will insert some footage so you guys can see how little Halloween stuff they had. Like I'm lucky I got anything. Maybe I went a little bit too late because I was too busy enjoying my summertime pool moments with my margarita and my tiki bar. So I just wasn't Halloween shopping in June and July and even August like everybody else was. So maybe that's my fault that I just didn't have a good selection. I don't know. Yeah, super disappointing. I don't, what? What? Huh? I don't understand. <laughs> it seems like holidays are coming to stores sooner and sooner and sooner. Like pretty soon you're gonna start seeing Halloween stuff in like February. Like that's how bad it's gonna be. <laughs> Am I a super Halloween lover? Absolutely. Do we all love it? Yes, but I don't wanna see Halloween stuff in February. I just don't. I want it to remain special to fall time. So when it comes around, you are actually excited. If you live with it all day, every day, and you see it that soon, it takes away the magic, in my opinion. Am I a spooky girl at heart? And do I have a little bit of a spooky lifestyle outside of Halloween? Yes, but I don't want it to feel like Halloween all the time because I love Halloween so much that I want it to remain magical and special when it comes around every year. That's just me. I know most people are gonna feel different about that if you are a super Halloween lover. Like I know hashtag Halloween is every day. I felt that way for a long time when I was younger, like Halloween is every day. I even had these buttons and like stickers made. This was before social media. This was before hashtags. This was before everything. I was 11, okay, and my dad had this friend that like was super savvy with making graphics and printing things and he made me stickers and I even think buttons that said Queen of Halloween, Halloween is every day and it was amazing, okay? <laughs> It was amazing. And I did used to feel that way when I was a kid. Like I wanted Halloween to be every day. But as I've gotten older, I realized how special it is when it does come around every year. And I wanna feel that magical excitement for when it's time for it to come. So I don't want to ruin it and spoil it for myself all year long. So I do try to keep the halloween stuff for Halloween time. I did not mean to go on a tangent there, but I felt like that was just a really important rant for me. I needed to get that out of my system. <laughs> so thank you for listening. So let's continue with the last few items I got from at home. The next thing I got from at home was this really delightful mummy serving tray. And yes, I did just say that I have too much serving wear and I just like can't, I can't help myself. <laughs> I don't know how many things I'm gonna be serving on Halloween. I guess I'm gonna have to come up with some new recipes and invite some extra people over, but I couldn't help myself. Look how cute he is. I do think it's a little odd how the eyeball is placed. At first, it kind of threw me off and I was like, do I like this? Do I not like this? But the more I looked at it, the more it grew on me and I just thought it was so adorable. Yeah, when you have to kind of look at him sideways for it to make sense and wait, now that I'm looking at it, like, I'm wondering like, is this even a mummy? But yeah, like, <laughs> yes, Caitlin, it's a mummy. Look at the, look at the detailing on the plate. You can see the little mummy straps embossed. This guy was 20 bucks, which I thought was kind of steep for what it is. I'm thinking closer to $12.99 to $15.99 would have been more reasonable at home. Everyone touts at home as being fairly priced, but I don't really think so, in my opinion. I think that they're a little expensive, kind of how I view Joann's to be. Now, Michael's is expensive, but Michael's is expensive on purpose. They have so many sales that the original sale price is hardly what you're ever gonna pay. Now, at home, not so much. I did have a coupon because I signed up for the first time for their emails. So I did get 10% off of everything. If you can shop it at home with a 10% off coupon, I highly suggest you guys do that, but obviously it won't be for Halloween this year because everything's already gone. <laughs> the next thing I got from at home is something I'm super excited about because I'm starting to somewhat redecorate my office. And by the way, I did move since my last Halloween decor video, so you will be seeing a different environment, but we try to recreate some of the rooms from our last house, including my office. But I'm starting to slowly redecorate my office a little bit. Like I was going for an ear iridescent tropical neon theme before, which I'm keeping, but I am now adding in elements of Arizona and the desert because that's something I've always loved ever since I was a kid was the desert. I ranted and raved about it all in my Wild West Naked Palette tutorial video if you guys want to go watch that. I don't know if you're interested in makeup. If you want to see that, it's a recent video of mine where I also ranted about my love for the desert. So I was super excited when I found this item. Now this is something that I lightweight saw that Michaels had on the website, but I could not find it in the store because obviously everything's gone now. So when I saw this ad at home, I was like, um, yeah, I have to have that. So <laughs> it's this amazing Arizona desert 
desert antelope skull. I believe that's what these are. This is going to tie in perfectly my little Arizona desert transition in here. So I got a brand new bar cart for my studio. The gold on the horns is the same exact champagne gold that is on the trim of my bar cart. So I was thrilled. I know this isn't a Halloween item at at home, but I mean, it's still a skull. And in my opinion, if you're gonna make the desert spooky, you have to have one of these guys, first of all. And I think with some cobwebs and a theme going, he is going to tie in the spooky desert theme in my office. So the next thing I got from at home was this very amusing haunted house admit one pillow. So it's supposed to be like a ticket to a haunted house, which I absolutely love that because I'm a huge haunted house goer. So I just really thought this pillow was cool and my husband really liked it as well. We both picked this one out and I think it's gonna go really great on our couch. It just has so many great details on it. I mean, it's got little bats and cobwebs and the classic haunted house and a black cat. Oh my God, it even has a ticket number. How perfect is this? Whoever designed this pillow just really thought it out and yeah, it's very us, absolutely love it. So the last items I got from at home are the main reason that I went there in the first place and I'm really lucky I even got my hands on either of these because with the slim amount of stuff that they had available, I got the last ones that they had. So they are both skeleton fish. I will first show you this one. So I did get this guy at a discount because he's supposed to have a little bulb at the end and the bulb was missing, unfortunately, because it was the last one in the bin. They didn't have any more, so I did get a discount on him. My husband's gonna try to come up with a makeshift bulb for the end. But I mean, honestly, if I didn't tell you that, would you even notice? Probably not, I wouldn't have. But yeah, he's super creepy and I just had to have him. And the next one I got was this light up eel. Now I have to change the batteries in it because it was dead. It's dead upon arrival, man. <laughs> this thing was probably turned on so many times that it just doesn't light up anymore, so I have to change the batteries in him, but I've seen it online and it's really cool. So the reason I picked these two guys up is because my husband over the summer built us a tiki bar. So we have an upgraded bar area in our basement and I have this idea of making like an undead under the sea kind of vibe down there. I'm not exactly sure how well I'm gonna pull it off, but we're gonna try. I figured these skeleton sea creatures would be really helpful in creating that aesthetic down there, so I just had to have them. I really wanted a skeleton mermaid and skeleton seahorse, but I couldn't find them anywhere in store, so I really wanted these to tie in the theme that I'm going for by our tiki bar, so they are absolutely perfect and I'm really excited to use them. So those were the last items that I picked up from at home, so now I'm gonna quickly move on to Target because since we're on the subject of how I'm gonna decorate my tiki bar and that I'm going for a under the sea kind of theme, I wanted to show you guys the only items that I picked up from Target this year. So from Target, I got these really awesome skull pineapples and they do light up and they are very highly detailed, like top notch. The lights do change color. And there's even some lights like on the pineapple fronds themselves. I actually think I saw these at Target last year on the website, but they were sold out and I couldn't get any. But that was before I was fully dedicated to this spooky tropical vibe that I'm going for now since we do officially have a tiki bar. These were the first Halloween decor pieces that I bought this season. And as soon as I saw them in stock on the website, I added them to the cart and I checked out immediately. So I'm really excited about these guys and I cannot wait to see these on our tiki bar. So this next part of the haul I am most excited for and that's everything that I got from Killstar because Killstar came out with some killer items this year for Halloween time. I know their homewares are meant to be spooky all year long and they can be, but this year's collection I think is a lot more geared towards Halloween specifically, not just all year around spookiness, at least in my opinion. So the first thing I got from Killstar was this really delightful ghost canister slash cookie jar. I mean, have you seen any cuter ghost in your life? I just love that he just has eyes and his little arms are going up like this. <laughs> He's just so cute. I can't wait to put him on my kitchen counter. I just think the ghost design at Killstar is just really unique. Very cute and very just minimalist, spooky vibes. Killstar and I, we're best friends. We resonate with one another. <laughs> Not really, I wish I was sponsored, I'm not. But yeah, I live and breathe for their homewares and this is no exception. Speaking of the ghost canister, I also got the little ghost mug, of course. You know I had to do it to him. I mean, I'm gonna love looking at the canister, but like I wanna drink out of this guy too. So again, the ghost design at Killstar is just so unique and it's just the cutest little ghost I've ever seen in my life. So I'm so excited to drink out of this mug, get stuff out of my canister and just live my best spooky ghost life. <laughs> 
So that's just one mug that I picked up. I don't know how many mugs I need to keep buying from year to year, to be honest. Like I just can't help myself when it comes to spooky mugs. The next mug I got from Killstar was this absolutely perfect, strange and unusual mug with a ghost and haunted house topper on it. So these are probably meant to emulate the style of the ever popular Ray Dunn mugs because they typically come with a topper. But I thought it was really awesome that Killstar is doing their own little version of that because it's spookier. This is one of my favorite mugs that I've ever bought and I cannot wait to see it displayed on our tier tray. So the final mug that I got from Killstar was, I believe it's called their Halloween mug and it's just the most classic, spooky jack-o'-lantern face you've ever seen in your life. Had to have it. Anyone who knows me personally knows that this is typically the face that I actually love to carve on our jack-o'-lanterns every year myself, so I absolutely had to have it on a mug, and it just so happens to be my aesthetic. It's just black and white, and that's all that I need in my life is a black and white jack-o'-lantern mug. <laughs> I actually think that this is a little too big for the amount of coffee that I would drink in a day, so I actually might just use this for soup or chili or something else like that, but it's perfect nonetheless. Cannot wait to use this guy. Now, speaking of the Halloween mug, I did order the Halloween pillow and Killstar did not put it in my order, okay? So now I gotta go email them when I'm done with this video and say, hey, where's my Halloween cushion? Because I bought it for my bed and I need it for my decorating video. So please send me my pillow, Killstar. What's what's going on here? <laughs> I will insert a picture of the pillow I'm talking about and hopefully I get it in time for the decorating video. Killstar come through. So speaking of the Halloween cushion pillow, I also got some pillowcases, which I actually haven't opened yet. So let's open them together. So it is a set of two Hocus Pocus pillows. One says Hocus and the other one says Pocus. I just thought these were the most aesthetic pillowcases that I've ever seen Killstar come out with. So I just wanted to try them out. I just thought these really fit in with our minimalist bedroom. I really haven't bought Halloween bedding before or pillowcases or anything like that. So I thought that this might be a way to step up our bedroom for Halloween just a little bit. This last item from Killstar, I think is actually my favorite thing that I bought for this haul. It is this. Now I know I just went on a rant about this saying, but Okay, I still had to have it, all right? It speaks to my 11 year old soul and I just had to have it. It is this Halloween is everyday rug. How awesome is this? Now they had an orange version with black font, but I preferred the black version with the orange font because I think this is gonna go really awesome in our kitchen because like I said, we painted our kitchen black. So I think this is gonna look really cool in there. And yes, I know that I went on a tangent about hashtag Halloween is every day, but in our soul, yes, Halloween is every day. So I wanted to pay homage to that saying and to my 11 year old self who loved the idea of Halloween being every day. But yeah, I love the font. It's very kitsch and I just had to have it. Really excited to put this one out. God, you just gotta stretch sometimes, man. Oh my God, my arms are sore from holding that up. <laughs> Making these videos is not easy, just so you guys know. If you've never made a haul video, especially with this many items and like large items, if you guys have never done this before, I just wanna let you know that it's not easy. <laughs> You'll be sore the next day, your neck's gonna hurt, you're gonna want to sleep for three days and you're gonna have laryngitis. I mean, that's just what happens when you make massive haul videos like this. So I don't know how like other YouTubers are doing it who do like several videos a week where they talk this much, but like, I can't. I'm introverted and I'm in the house all the time. I don't talk a lot. So when I talk this much, I do like lose my voice. I mean, you can already hear it happening. <laughs> anyway, so before we continue, I also wanted to show you guys this awesome, awesome tumbler cup that my cousin Desiree got for me. She got it on Etsy. I'm so sorry. I do not remember the name of the Etsy shop right now, but I will link it down below. My cousin Desiree got me this cup as an early Christmas gift. She couldn't wait till Christmas to give it to me. She also got a really nice mug made for my mom with picture of her and my dad on it. It was very nice, very thoughtful gift. So thank you Desiree for that. And thank you for this cup because this is me all day. It has all my favorite horror characters on it. We have Michael Myers, my number one guy. And then we have Pinhead. Freddy and Jason. And then there's Pennywise and Jigsaw. Yeah, this is just one of the coolest tumblers that I own right now. So this is gonna be keeping me company every day in October. And I really thank my cousin for just giving me such a thoughtful gift because I absolutely love it. And this Etsy seller is just really killing it with the designs. Thank you, Desiree. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that I picked up at Big Lots. Now, Big Lots was another one that did not have anything this year. And not because I didn't go early enough. It's because they never got anything in. I had been checking the past few weeks and Big Lots was just not putting their Halloween stuff out. And I was like, what is going on? 
on here. I finally went last night again, thinking that everything was gonna be fully out and displayed and there'd be several aisles of Halloween stuff like there always is. And there was one tiny aisle of Halloween stuff that was shoved to the side and everything else was Christmas. Like I was just emotionally disturbed. I just, I could not believe what I was seeing that Big Lots had next to nothing. Surprisingly, I was able to find a couple items that were actually super meaningful to me. So the first thing I got from Big Lots were these kitchen towels that say, stay spooky. If you've been watching me for a little bit, you know that that's what I say at the end of my videos. So I thought it was only appropriate to buy these towels. I always really do like Big Lots's kitchen towels. They're always pretty thick and made really well. So they are always worth the money stay spooky, you know I had to have them. So the next thing I got actually makes me a little bit emotional. Um, I went to Big Lots with my mom, by the way, when I picked this stuff up and I don't know if she noticed or realized the reason why I was buying this item. So I'm like really emotional. <laughs> to anybody else, this would just be like any other pillow. But to me, it has a really special meaning and that's why I bought it. This pillow that says, hey boo on it. And it's just got the cutest little ghost and a really nice font and again my minimalist Halloween black white orange aesthetic so you know I had to have it but I bought this pillow because I don't know if you guys have heard in my previous videos but my dad did recently pass away in March um, and Halloween was always our biggest family thing that we did together but his nickname for me my whole life was Boo. Um, when I used to live at home with my parents I would come down in the morning from my room and he would always say hey boo or morning boo so this pillow i'm gonna keep in his spot on the couch in my dad's spot where he used to sit and say hey boo this is just an homage to my dad um i didn't mean to turn this haul into an emotional thing but i think my videos are going to be like that for a while as i adjust to life without my dad in it uh, it's really hard i'm trying every which way to honor him. So this is just one little way that I'm doing that. I love you, daddy. Whew. So the last thing I got at Big Lots were just several sets of lights <laughs> because you can never have too many lights at Halloween time, especially when you decorate both inside and outside like we do. I know we have a ton of lights stored away, but I had to get extra just in case because these things are flying off the shelves. I can't guarantee that I can go anytime during the month to pick up lights if some of our lights blow out. So I got a few more sets just to make sure we have enough for the season. And at Big Lots, they're always the most affordable. So I highly recommend going to Big Lots if you need Halloween lights and go quick because stuff is not gonna last for very long. <laughs> Actually, that was not the last thing I got at Big Lots. I forgot one item. The last thing I got from Big Lots was this really inviting Hey There Pumpkin doormat. Now I know Big Lots had this available last year. I'm pretty sure I did see it, but I just never picked it up for some reason. But yeah, this year I had to have it with the black and white stripes, Beetlejuice vibes. Then you have this really elegant stack of pumpkins with the branches around the bottom, which is very my vibe. Again, black, white, and orange. My aesthetic all day. Had to have it. So that is the last item I got from Big Lots. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got from this store called Marks. I don't know if they have this store everywhere in the US. I'm not sure if it's just kind of local to Ohio or to the Midwest. Marks is kind of like a discount grocery store, but I go there for Halloween time because they have some of the most unique, usually vintage inspired Halloween decorations decorations. Like when you go to Mark's at Halloween time, you feel like you just walked into a time machine and that you are Halloween shopping in the early to mid 90s. Like that's what it feels like for me. And I love going every year to see what Mark's has to offer just to get those nostalgic 90s Halloween vibes. So what I did pick up from Mark's were these very vintage inspired light up characters, one being a black cat and one being a ghost with jack-o'-lanterns and they do light up. You can't get any more Halloween-y than this. This is the most Halloween-y thing that you can get in life. Remember that these used to be really big like characters that you could put outside. So these are like basically mini versions of that. Cannot wait to put these out. I think next to the Killstar rug, these are my favorite items that I picked up this year and I just got them yesterday and they were super cheap. Each one was $8.99, so like what a steal. These were absolute winners, such a vibe. I cannot wait to put these out and enjoy them all season. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I also got these little pumpkin earrings from Big Lots. 
I'm getting close to the end of the haul, but I want to quickly show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I partially shopped in person and got the items that I'm going to show you here. And then I shopped online and I have not received my online order yet. So I'm really getting kind of scared. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I got in person first from TJ Maxx, which is this really enchanting candle luminary. It's just like a candle holder, but it's copper inside. So when you put a candle in here, it's going to light up this entire scene and probably I haven't tested it out yet, but it's, I'm sure it'll cast some shadows and it's just going to be uber spooky. Such a Halloween vibe. I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. It has everything on it that makes it such a winner. Got a witch flying across the moon. It has bats and spooky trees and a cemetery and haunted house. I cannot wait to light a candle in here and just watch the magic happen. Another one of my favorite items that I picked up this year. So the next thing I picked up from TJ Maxx was surprise, surprise, another spooky mug. Another minimalist type mug. I really love the juxtaposed skulls on here and more orange against the matte black, total vibe all day. And it also came with a really adorable keychain on the side. It's got a skull and a little pom-pom and a black and gold medallion, which I mean, out of all of the spooky mugs that I saw at TJ Maxx, like this one just spoke to me. Just another great spooky mug from TJ Maxx, another winner. The last thing I picked up in person at TJ Maxx was this beautiful black and gold bowl, which of course, Again, black and gold art deco living area. You know, that's where this is gonna go. I love the giant matte black skeleton hand holding the bowl. And this bowl is just the most beautiful brushed gold color. I cannot wait to have this on our coffee table. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, like maybe use it for popcorn for a horror movie night, or if I'm going to use it as like a centerpiece. Maybe I'll put those glittery black and gold pumpkins in here that I showed you earlier from at home to make like a centerpiece or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Not sure. And this guy was only $16.99. Now, I know I complained <laughs> about the price of the other serveware, but this is really heavy duty. You are getting a quality item with this. So I believe they have this on the TJ Maxx website. So if you guys want it, go pick it up fast before it sells out. But yeah, very versatile, bold statement piece. And I cannot wait to use it. We're into the home stretch here. We are almost done with this video. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I got from Bath & Body Works because I'm not gonna be doing a separate video this year because I didn't get as much. I had a lot of candles left over from last Halloween, so I'm gonna be using up some of those. But I only picked up their new scents as well as a few that I was out of. Why spend money on more candles when you got candles in your stash from last year? Might as well use up the old candles and save some money. So first I picked up these two new scents from Bath & Body Works, Pumpkin Carving and Wicked Apple. The packaging is so aesthetic. This one is gonna go perfect again in our living area because it brings in the black and the gold. Beautiful packaging with the ghosts and the silver apples. I really love the lids this year as well. They're like a shiny bronzy black with a spiderweb pattern on top. So gorgeous. Freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. Mm. That's just straight fall right there, my dude. Ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. And my goodness, does that actually smell like a caramel apple in the absolute best way possible. Do they beat out my favorite scents, Pumpkin Bonfire and Pumpkin Clove? No, but they are wonderful nonetheless, and I cannot wait to burn these as soon as possible. And the next one I picked up was also from the new collection, and it's called Haunted Nights. Again, beautiful packaging. Scary Clary Sage, Moonlit Mahogany, and Vanishing Verbena. So I ordered all these candles online before smelling them. I didn't actually go into the store this year, but... I do really enjoy the smell of this, but it smells mostly like a cologne to me, like a men's cologne, so I do enjoy it. It smells like my husband, but I don't think it smells like Halloween whatsoever. I will enjoy it, I will burn it, but it does not smell like Halloween. The last two candles I picked up were just two scents that I'm currently out of, which is Sweater Weather, of course, one of my top faves of all time, and Marshmallow Fireside. This packaging is okay to me. I'm still not really super keen on blue during fall time. I know a lot of people like to combine blue with the rust color for fall, which I get it, but I don't really enjoy it myself. <laughs> I do really love the lids, so th these come with really gorgeous copper lids, which are beautiful. Okay, so they look great with the packaging. The last things I got from Bath & Body Works were some hand soap. The first two are Perfect Pumpkin and Wicked Apple. And the last two is Happy Halloween scent, which is Mysterious Marshmallow Fluff, Candy Corn, and Sweet Orange. And then, of course, Marshmallow Fireside. I really, really love the packaging this year of all of these soaps. The past few years, I haven't really enjoyed the Bath & Body Works soap packaging. It just seemed a little too... 
over the top cutesy to me. So these are perfect. I love that the Happy Halloween one is a little holographic, which is totally my vibe. These ones are classic Halloween cute. They're not trying too hard. You know, I think Bath and Body Works has been trying way too hard the past few years to be cute for some reason, or I don't know. I don't know what they were going for, but I think they nailed it with these. It just doesn't feel like Halloween without a little bit of Bath and Body Works. So I didn't include this kind of stuff in my haul last year, but I figured I'd end this video off with just a few miscellaneous items that I pick up for the season, like themed coffee, makeup items, and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if that's something you guys are interested in, but I am just gonna throw it in really quick just in case, because I feel like this also really elevates the Halloween spirit in your home. I think you guys know by now, if you've watched my videos from last year, that I am a huge Bones coffee fan. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did pick up from Bones so far for the season. I'm definitely going to be making another order or two probably, but so far we did pick up Jack O' Lantern and then Franken Bones, which is a chocolate hazelnut flavor. And then I also picked up some K-Cups of the flavors Caramel Apple and From Dusk Till Donuts, which is one of my favorites right now. It absolutely tastes like a jelly donut, which is that Halloween flavor? No, I just think the packaging is super on point and super spooky and very tasty. So the last thing I got from Bones is this hand-thrown mug, which is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the details on that. It's so gorgeous. It's the perfect shape. It holds the perfect amount of coffee. And it's just one of my favorite mugs that I own right now. And I think this is one that I'm actively going to use. It's not just for display. Like I'm actively gonna be using this bad boy all the time. I can already see whipped cream just like piled on top of here. Perfect pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> the next two items are a couple of fall clothing items that I picked up just for an extra cozy vibe around the house. I picked up this beautiful rust sweater from Buckle, which I really love. It is super warm and cozy and I love the texture. I love how it's knitted and it's just super cozy, super soft and warm and I'm a sucker for the rust orange color. If I'm gonna go for orange for Halloween, I'm trying to go more now towards the rust vibe rather than like bright orange. I got these awesome rust colored crisscross slippers from Amazon. Super cozy, gonna be wearing them all season. Normally I do wear my black ones, but like I wanted to just switch it up and have some rust orange in my life. So I will link everything down below so you guys can go pick it up yourself. The last couple of things I got were just some little presents to myself. They are some limited edition makeup items from MAC. These aren't really Halloween items, but they are from their limited edition fall collection. I picked up their setting spray in gold light and it is so beautiful. It's actually the setting spray that I'm wearing right now. This is just gonna look so gorgeous on your vanity and I highly recommend this. Like if you already aren't using Fix Plus spray for your makeup routine, you're missing out because it is the number one tool that I use for everything. I even use it as my primer now, which was recommended to me by my friend Jeremy, which was like a lifesaver. Instead of using a primer, I just spray my face with this and I'm good to go. Love it. So along with the setting spray, I also picked up one of their limited edition lipsticks, Avant Garnet. The packaging on this is so gorgeous too. So beautiful for fall. Before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys that I did pick up some corn stalks and pumpkins already, of course, and I will be bringing more corn stalks in the house this year, so stay tuned for that. It's one of my favorite ways to decorate. I've always used them outside, but I love bringing them inside now, so I'm really excited to decorate with them in the house again this year. So that was my 2021 Halloween and fall haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have all of the items shown in this video linked down below in the description for you. I hope you guys have a lot of fun decorating your homes for Halloween this year. I hope that you are looking Looking forward to this year's decorating video because I'm going to be getting started right away and hopefully have it up for you even earlier this year than previous years. I really appreciate all of the love that you guys have given me on last year's Halloween decor video. It really means a lot to me that so many of you have enjoyed it and I hope you stay tuned for this year's video. Until then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Stay spooky.